हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट वेल टुडे आई असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर अनिकेत अशोक सोलसुरकर गिव्स एन इम्पॉर्टेंट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑन द टॉपिक कस्टम एक्ट 1962 द कस्टम एक्ट 1962 व्हिच वेर टू बी अ इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द सिलेबस टैक्सेशन फोर इन डायरेक्ट टैक्सेशन टू एंड थर्ड ईयर ऑफ अकाउंटिंग एंड फाइनेंस सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द कस्टम एक्ट नाइनटीन इन अ वेरी ईजी फॉर्म सो लेट्स हैव अ स्टार्ट Uh, these are the basic contents of the Custom Act 1962, which will be of first of all included introduction to custom law, types of custom duties, valuation of goods under customs, and duty drawback. Uh, well, we will start with the introduction to Custom Act 1962. Uh, custom Act 1962. I am going to give a very uh, best story in respect of the Custom Act 1962. through this story you can understand easily what is the meaning of custom act 1962 and how they are going going to be a prevail into the market uh once upon a time uh ek purane zamane ki baat hai the london kingdom okay the from king druva and the bhudeva bhudeva basically is a vyapari and these vyapari stand for the businessman this bhudeva vyapari is from uae uae stand for the united arab of emirates Bhudeva want to do the business uh, from uh, UAE to London, and he want to basically explore their business. And he decided, I need to go to do London for doing my business for start up my business. And accordingly, Bhudeva has come to London. Once been they arrived, okay, they have no need to meet to the Senapati or the Senapati of the United Kingdom. They meet to the Senapati. एंड दे टूक द परमिशन कि मुझे बिजनेस करना है यहाँ पे आके सो इफ आई एम एबल टू डू द बिजनेस आई डेफिनेटली मेक द पेमेंट इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ द टैक्स टू यू द सेनापति अकॉर्डिंगली ग्रांड द परमिशन एंड सेनापति अलाउड टू डू द बिजनेस इन लंडन सो राइट नाउ भूदेवा इज रेडी टू सेल देयर प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम यू ई टू लंडन it is not a simple task to do the business from one country to another country but perhaps bhudeva ready to take this opportunity every day bhudeva is ordered the basmati rice and the uh, perfumes from the uae so every day 100 kg of basmati rice and 100 pieces of perfumes ordered bhudeva from uae to london so there is a very basic form and uh, these practices uh, as noticed by the king druva and accordingly informed to the senapati senapati again went to the bhudeva uh, and asked to what kind of business uh, you are to doing bhudeva said i did uh, i every day order i i every day offer 100 kg basmati rice and 100 pieces of perfume okay there is no any doubt about it see as per the rule of the kingdom you need to give a 10% of your basmati rice and the 10% of your perfumes bottles to the kingdom being as a part of the tax so basically ye practices jo hai my dear student 1961 tak ye trade aur ye practices chalte aayi so basically jo 10% as a bhudeva ne dusre country mein aake business karne ka jo diya that senapati ko that is called as the customs basically in nowadays we are going to give these taxes to the local authority at that time basically senapati kingdom and right now it is stand for the local authority further we move uh, right now this is a ancient uh, story i discuss with you right now today i discuss with the modern story so if i move to the modern story कस्टम एक्ट 1962 की थोड़ी सी मॉडर्न स्टोरी अगर हम सुनने के लिए जाएंगे तो जनरली इट इज द अप्लाइड एंड फॉर द इंपोर्टेड एंड एक्सपोर्टेड गुड्स फॉर द पेमेंट ऑफ कस्टम ड्यूटी सो इन दिस पिक्चर यू कैन सी ओवर हियर द वन ग्राफ आई एम गिविंग द शोइंग द नेशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड अनदर ग्राफ आई एम शोइंग द नेशन ऑफ यू एंड बेसिकली दिस इज कॉल्ड एज द इंटरनेशनल वॉर्डर आई डब्ल्यू स्टैंड फॉर द इंटरनेशनल वॉर्डर वॉर्डर्स Mr in uh, Mr A basically is a importer Mr A is a importer from the India and he imported something from the UAE but there is a most important things there is a boundaries 
there is a boundaries geographical boundaries to be needed to be considered and the geographical boundary stand for the international waters because the goods are transited with the help of the vessels and once the vessel has been crossed the international waters and once they have been arrived into the territory of india that is called as the import unless and until if the vessel has not crossed the international waters indian territory till that goods are not should be counted as a import so basically that is called as the import that is that is called as a custom duty so in this picture you have been understand what is exactly custom duties further we move uh, later on the discussion i am showing over here mr a ne jo goods kahan se uh, uh, purchase kiye basically it is from the purchase but what where exactly that good has been landed the goods has been landed my dear student in india then in india jo custom officers the unhone mr a se kya manga but obvious they demanded tax from mr a but unfortunately my dear student mr a denied for making the payment of custom tax sir why so this happen but obvious mr a is a importer he is imported goods from the uh, uae right now vessel has been arrived onto the dock uh, uh, on the port and uh, custom officer asking the payment of the custom tax and uh, in the 1961 this and me story uh, and fortunately mr a denied to making the payment of tax sir why so this happen this is happen because of this point my dear student mr a said the most important things and they said जब तक मेरे देश का कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में कस्टम रिगार्डिंग प्रोविजन नहीं आती तब तक मैं टैक्स नहीं दूंगा दैट इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ एनी लॉ इन माय इन आर कंट्री माय डियर स्टूडेंट ही सेड जब तक मेरे देश के कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में कस्टम रिगार्डिंग कोई प्रोविजन नहीं, नहीं आती तब तक मैं टैक्स नहीं दूंगा सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट हैवी अंडरस्टैंड विद दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस right now the custom officer is uh, move ahead and tell to the finance minister and in the 1962 the custom act custom law custom duty has been uh, introduced in our india so under the constitution of india they three article majorly introduce the first article article 265 the article 265 of the constitution of india said no tax shall be levied and collected under authority of law jab tak koi authority nahi hoti tab tak koi desh mein tax dega nahi aur na hi koi tax collect karega accordingly article 245 they said like that article 245 empowers the parliament custom tax custom tax levied and collected bhi karo basically article 245 ke andar power de di gayi देश के पार्लियामेंट को कि आप देश से कस्टम टैक्स लैविड करो एंड कलेक्ट भी करो सो दैट इज द पॉइंट माय डियर स्टूडेंट आफ्टर आर्टिकल 265 एंड 245 फाइव देर इज अ वन इंपॉर्टेंट आर्टिकल दैट इज कॉल्ड एज आर्टिकल 246 आर्टिकल 246 फोर्टी सिक्स हैज बीन अ फर्दर क्लासिफाइड इन टू द थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट माई डियर स्टूडेंट द फर्स्ट आस्पेक्ट कॉल्ड एज द यूनियन लिस्ट सेकेंड आस्पेक्ट कॉल्ड एज द स्टेट लिस्ट and the third aspect called as a concurrent list sir what is the meaning of concurrent there is a basically joint venture of the central government and the state government basically you can say amalgamations uh, you can say like partnerships of the central government and state government under the list 3 called as the concurrent list so under the article 245 uh, we learn the constitution of india give the empowerment to not only the levied tax but also collect the tax and this authority given to the parliament under article 246 the further classified into the three different list list 1 basically for the union list list 2 basically for the state list and my dear student list 3 is basically for the concurrent list where is the amalgamation and the joint venture of the central and the state government my dear student uh under the union list 1 the central government has been uh, notified of various entry entry number 82 majorly basically stand for the income tax tax on income entry number 3 83 basically the most important entry for our syllabus point of view my dear student which were to be a part of the duties on the custom basically custom duty entry number 82 84 basically for the duties on excise excise we collected at the time of manufacturing of goods and the duty 
entry number 97 basically it is for the tax on services basically it is stand for the service tax for the vimu entry number 83 uh, in detail we will go through it over here duties on customs so I have been covered into the three different part but today we are just oh, explaining and uh, clearing only the thoughts of the only the concept of the object so my dear student the first object of entry number 83 that is the duties on custom is to regulate the import and export procedure means to control the import and the export procedure in our India the second object to prevent the domestic industries from the dumping uh, as you as you I just need to give the one example over here being as the uh, brand image brand equity we created in the mind of the customers so probably what happened we uh, demanded more foreign products we rely on the uh, imported product so it should not be happen therefore the make in India campaign had been started under these uh, to prevent domestic industries from dumping and the last one is to collect the revenue so basically these are the object of entry number 83 under the duties on customs and the last part my dear student 1962 se pehle agar mein baat karu to india mein three important act the in respect of the custom the first england boundaries warehouse act the second sea custom act and the third one land custom station act and my dear student ye tino bhi act sab sum karke 1962 mein ek hi act banaya gaya and the name of that act my dear student custom act 1962 is that clear well uh, the last but not least my dear student uh, sir tell me the tax hierarchy so these are the tax hierarchy if uh, our nation want to introduce any kind of tax in our nations so we need to follow these uh, systems first of all the tax the concept of the tax should be introduced in the constitution of india constitution of india has been noted into the article form once the article has been uh, has been uh, published then the rule has been uh, passed into the uh, parliament accordingly the prime ministers has been a frame uh, some rules regarding to that tax to that particular uh, systems accordingly uh, the tax has been uh, publish into the parliament of india the parliament of india has been a overall control of all indirect taxes they have been given the empowerment and the last the finance minister of our nations right now the finance uh, the central finance minister of nation is uh, honorable uh, nirmala sitaramanji they have been provided the time to time notification time to time changes time to time alteration in the respect of the custom act and lastly the ministry of finance okay of the orders instruction and circular regarding the any kind of tax hierarchies in our india so these are the steps my dear student to publish the tax hierarchy into the nation go through the uh, constitution of india then the income tax act then the rules has been framed by the finance uh, prime ministers of the india they have been passed out these uh, things to the uh, const uh, parliament of india they have been empowerment basically provided by the uh, article 246 we are 245 we have been discussed earlier accordingly time to time notifications published by the uh, nirmala sitaramanji and last but not least uh, minister of finance uh, on time to time they provided instructions circulars and orders to the nation in respect of the tax hierarchy so my dear student this is all about the basic introduction and the important introduction of the custom act 1962 which we are to be discussing today's lecture thank you so much